All right, good morning. Welcome to Atlanta and Nanog 60. I'm Greg Dindy, Chair of the Program Committee. Uh, you know, it's been a few years since we were in Atlanta. I really enjoyed it last time. I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. We have uh, almost 650 attendees so far, which makes us the second largest NANOG ever, the largest east of the Rocky Mountains. So thank you all for coming and uh, making the time to travel here and be here. We have uh, a lot of newcomers registered. Actually, I'm going to ask for a show of hands. Who's a newcomer in this room? All right, put your hand there. <laughs> All right, bonus one. Raise your hand if you've been here more than 10 times. All right, I love that. It's a great mix. Thank you both for, uh, for coming. Uh-oh. And I broke the slides already. Hey, Mike, can you fix that? There we go. Thank you. I want to thank uh, members of the program committee. They all worked very long and hard to bring you this program, uh, recruiting speakers, uh, content. So thank you very much, everyone. Um, and this afternoon, we do have a newcomer lunch. So all the newcomers that raised your hands before, please do attend the lunch this afternoon. Uh, there will be members of committees there. I want to thank our sponsor, VeriSign, for putting that together. We'll be able to give you a, a good orientation to the program uh, and what to, what to expect and how to get the most out of Nanog. <laughs> we, uh, for those that attended last meeting or got to catch the videos on YouTube, we had a lot of uh, material, a lot of content around security. We had speakers from the EFF, uh, from uh, uh, LavaBit. They were discussing some challenges around security, uh, different kinds of surveillance that are happening on the internet. So we're seeing that theme really develop this time. We're bringing in more security content. We're talking about encryption. We're talking about vulnerabilities out there. Uh, we've got a keynote focused on that. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so uh, we, we've got some great content along these themes, and I'm really looking forward to it. We are still accepting lightning talk submissions for tomorrow afternoon and for Wednesday afternoon. That's open via the PC speaker tool. Please do submit an abstract. Uh, we have a number of tracks coming up. We've got data center track. We've got the uh, best current operational practice track. We've got peering track. And we have a security track. Uh, these are spread around, out around the afternoons. Please do find one that interests you and join it. Uh, we have a welcome lunch also tomorrow, uh, at the same time as the newcomer lunch, so you have your choice. If you're either an old-timer or a newcomer, please do go to that one. Uh, and we also have a member breakfast tomorrow morning. That's right. Okay. Uh, and then socials. Uh, our hosts uh, have, and uh, Telex and NTT have uh, gotten together for a uh, social tonight. And uh, we have another one uh, tomorrow here in the hotel. Tomorrow, uh, tonight, we're at the Museum of Natural History, I believe, and that should be really interesting. Uh, we are a little spread around the hotel here. We've got uh, open seating areas outside. We've got uh, Nanog sponsor and member help desks. There's even an Aaron help desk out here into the side. Uh, they're very helpful here. Talked about the meeting rooms. Uh, their uh, breakout rooms are on the seventh and tenth floors, and the beer and gear tomorrow evening will be on the seventh floor. Surveys. You will be uh, bombarded with requests to fill out surveys while you're here. We probably won't shut up about it because we find these to be really valuable. We actually read them. We implement changes based on the feedback we get. They're very important. Even more important, uh, special thanks out to Guy Kai and Paul Schultz for arranging our giveaway. We have three PlayStation 4s and games. So we'll be drawing uh, one name tomorrow and two on Wednesday for uh, survey respondents to win PlayStation 4s. Thank you very much, Kai Kai. Uh, some reminders. We have uh, microphone guidelines posted on each microphone. If you're going to ask a question, please do uh, state your name and affiliation, ask one question, and let other folks use the mic. We have an attendee charter posted up. Uh, this is some pretty basic stuff. Uh, 
guidelines for conduct, et cetera, please do take a chance to read that. And with that, I will hand over to Betty Burke. Morning, everyone. You awake? Out there, it's real quiet. <laughs> Just checking. We promise to be quick this morning so that we can get into the meat of the program. But I do want to welcome all of you here to NANOG 60 in Atlanta. Um, the NANOG activity owned by the community really works because of the volunteers that um, work with me. The board of directors, the program committee, the development committee, communications, our BCOP committee, and our education committee, those are the people behind the scenes, just like you, who have volunteered their time to put NANOG together. And their commitment it cannot be understated or upper, underrepresented. They, they do a fantastic job for us. If you need help, these are frequent email lists that we have. We put them in front of you. Um, they're on all sorts of signage, but I did want to go over them. So instead of just sending Betty Burke an email message about an issue you might be having, send it to nanog-support. There's a whole lot of other folks besides myself that can see your email and, and take care of your need. Uh, speaker support is for all of our speakers who might have any issues. Uh, the program committee is on top of that one that can take care of you. And NANOG ENG is the list should you have any network issues or questions. I love colors, really, I do. I get confused, so I have to put a slide together, and hopefully uh, you'll see why we all have different color ribbons and what we do. Um, probably won't be important to many of you, but the, the one that I think is important to you is the red, and that is the board of directors. We really do want to know what all of you think, so if you don't know who we are, we have a red ribbon on, and you can find us. Uh, again, a reminder of the survey, the general survey. We like to hear from all of you. And this meeting, we have an additional survey that's being handed out at the Air and Help Desk. The American Registry of Internet Numbers serves the same community as we do, so we're very supportive of their efforts to pull the operator community as it relates to Aaron. So please take a moment, take their survey um, when you're doing the NANOG survey and give your feedback on Aaron. You can also go to their help desk and get more information. There is a number of efforts underway to keep your registration fees down as we talk about every single meeting and not having NANOG exposed to inflation. These sponsors make that happen for you. Uh, we appreciate all of them, our host, our premium sponsors, our connectivity partners. Those are the folks that really contribute a lot to the NANOG community and we appreciate all of them. We're going to be quick this morning, and I just wanted to make sure that I introduce uh, Chris Downey, who will follow. He is the representative from our host, Telex, who will say a few words, followed by Pete Mastin from Internap, who's done a fantastic job in giving us connectivity. Before we go on with our host, do you have any questions for Greg, Greg or I? Okay, you'll find me around in the hallways, and Chris? Thank you and good morning everyone and welcome to uh, NANOG 60. Uh, my name is Chris Downey and I'm the CEO of Telex. Uh, we are excited to be your host for this meeting in Atlanta, a city with significant meaning uh, to our company as it began a new chapter in Telex's history with the purchase of the first Telex owned and operated data center at 56 Marietta, just around the corner from us here and, and we uh, purchased this building roughly one decade ago this year. Through this facility, Telex has shown its continued commitment to the city and to the industry through the growth of the Telex Internet Exchange in Atlanta, the largest internet exchange in the southeast, and one of the premier communications platforms for universities, financial institutions, and media providers. Since 2007 alone, we have invested over $50 million at 56 Marietta to improve its redundancy and resiliency, broaden its, net, its data center capacity, for customer growth and improve its efficiency for network and digital information exchange. 
Our customer count has grown from 113 in 2007 in that building to over 275 as of December of 2013, and the connections have grown over 136 percent. We believe in our, 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 sorry, our investments in this facility alone and over $340 million since 2007 across the, across the country make these critical exchange environments as robust and efficient and capable, and capable for the huge demand being put on the network requirements in these digital domains. Before NANOG kicks off, just wanted to give a 30-second brief update on Telex. 2013 has been another strong year for us, not only facilities and customer expansions, but in our ability to drive broader service capabilities and solutions to our increasing customer base. We now have 20 facilities in 13 markets. We service over 1,800, sorry, 1,200 customers who enjoy the most interconnected ecosystem in the industry. Telex continues to build value for our customers by offering connection opportunities supported by over 46,000 connections across our facilities. Uh, lastly, I just wanted to touch on Marketplace Live. Marketplace Live is an indi industry event that I, uh, looking around the room, I know many of you have attended. It's a, an event that serves as an extension of our ecosystem and our online portal to serve our customer needs, to support their collaborative interests. We have been holding this event in New York City since two, uh, so for, for the last seven years, and in December 2013, we held the inaugural West uh, Marketplace Live with close to 400 attendees. It's a gathering of a community with common interests and objectives. It's an opportunity to facilitate uh, interactions and business relationships with other Telex customers, partners, and friends. We hope to see you at the next event, which we just announced this summer, so June 5th, once again, in New York City. And that, that event topped out last year at over 1,000 strong, so we're looking forward, forward to a great event. So as, uh, as um, Betty mentioned, you know, don't forget to join us tonight as we hope, host the opening uh, so, uh, social reception with NTT at the Fernbank Natural History Museum. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing you out, all of you throughout the course of the event and uh, enjoy the conference. Thank you. And with that, I'll introduce uh, Peter Schissel from the Internet. Thanks. I'll be uh, very brief here. I am, uh, the, the name was wrong. We had a last minute switch out. I'm the other Pete, not Pete Mastin. I'm Peter Schissel. Don't try to pronounce it. Um, InterNAP is very excited to be sponsoring this. Uh, we are providing the upstream connectivity for this conference through a local loop back to 56 uh, Marietta, where our main Atlanta POP is. Um, many of you may be familiar with InterNAP. For those that aren't, um, we were founded 18 years ago. Our core product is an optimized IP transit service. Uh, we um, connect to multiple upstreams in each of our POPs and do performance monitoring and then through real-time performance monitoring and through uh, manipulation of the routing table, uh, optimize for performance, basically latency and packet loss across all of our upstreams. Um, since then, we were founded as an IP transit company. Since then, we have expanded our product line. We've got data centers around the country, about 15 of them, uh, as well as managed hosting, CDN, and cloud. Um, so again, glad to be here, and I also wanted to uh, thank the connectivity team, particularly Eric Osting and Colin Doyle. Um, I'm guessing many, probably most people here have been involved in provisioning circuits and that sort of thing, and it can get very challenging, but as far as I know, everything went off smoothly, and I, I think everyone's surfing the internet right now, so uh, thank you all.